number 22 communism versus number 50 i think six semikis he's got new settings he recently changed his, his speedy his settings to speedy boy settings he turned up like a bunch of uh a bunch of stuff like his, his sensitivities are super high his dead zones like on his dodge and something and stuff he lo he lowered he was telling us last time on stream when he played mm, dr prof aaron communism of uh of fame in the renegade cup i would assume is where most people know him from uh he plays with christ on a team right around the bubble oh my goodness semi kiss are you kidding me we've got semi kiss in the what is this guy is this the gizmo guys do you know let's see if i can get away with uh whoops with not showing nice first goal here for semi kiss i'm gonna try and give you guys even more uh space not tell you about their names and have you just see it in the t in the left corner right there yeah that's gizmo thanks market tech what a name at communism, yeah, I know. What was it like seeing GS in person with that insane five? Dude, it's kind of crazy because the Suns did pretty well against them. Gizmo starting off the game. 1-0. Dominating. Against communism, nice flick. Double flick is going to be almost be able to go in here. But communism stops it out last second. Pressure's been on by Semikiss to start this game. The arguable underdog says the top 100 leaderboard. Looks like Communism actually stole out that save by blasting Semikiss as opposed to hitting the ball there. Nice collection off the wall. Semikiss. Seeming to be maybe the aggressor so far to start this game. Communism getting his first real nice attempt here. Able to save it away pretty easily. He went for the chip shot. Just the curved chip shot. And this is going to be another easy goal for Simicus here. Uh, I'm not sure what happens on this return after this uh, after this chip shot. I guess Communism gets caught, caught a little bit. Maybe misreads the bounce off the wall. Um, ends up getting a couple, bumped a couple times and is unable to catch up there. But I think uh, it was all over after he missed. One of those touches off the wall. Simicus up 3-0. Nice kickoff goal. This is, this is as good as it could have gone to start for Semikiss, I think. Um, I think it's no mystery that Communism is the technical favorite. And so, to Semikiss come out really strong right away to start the game, I think it's got to boost some confidence and let him know that he's still in it, regardless of what happens. Communism with a kickoff goal here. Nice 50, maybe a little bit of panic. Uh, 50 attempt there in the kickoff. Semikiss going in deep to grab boost and communism still resorting to play D. A lot of times when somebody goes in deep into their back corner to steal boost, they will just try and go for the ball and just clear the ball downfield uh, in order to counter the fact that they stole their boost, giving them a lot more time. But he just chose to play D. Uh, Semikiss just really well positioned right there to instantly smack back that hit by communism. Nice flick. Nice Batmobile flick right there off the kickoff. So far, two, ki two real kickoff goals um, from Communism. The first one wasn't full on kickoff. He he won it off of a, a second 50, but... I think this still keeps confidence high for Semikiss in this situation, knowing that Communism's had to kind of almost sneak him in off kickoffs only. 4-2. Long flick's going to be... Easily saved. That bouncing attempt. Doesn't scare Simicus at all. He's waiting for this hundo to pop. Communism trying to go for that low 50, hoping to beat out the gizmo, but the gizmo's unstoppable. Stop trying to meet gizmo at the net. Nice demo here by Communism. That should be an easy goal. He's going to let it roll it in real slow. You doing a tournament, Sand Dance? Yeah, we're, we're doing tournaments. You can play in those tournaments, in those 1v1s. And if you want, in the meantime, uh, you know, let's say because I can't spectate those games, you can spectate these games, which is a top 100 1v1. 
Unfortunately, I can't spectate your guys' games. But I'm giving you great content, I promise. At least I hope you think so. What about 2v2? Yeah, 2v2 is I can't spectate those either. Uh, looks like Semikiss passes away the ball here after a kickoff. Uh, I think Communism stole the boost. And uh, Semikiss, in an effort to not just leave the net, or not just leave the ball and the boost to Communism, uh, was trying to steal away the ball, but ended up handing it over with no way to recover. Nice flip reset. Threatening communism there, but he realized he never really had a chance to use it in order to trick Simicus, just let it fall all the way to the ground. Yeah, that was almost nuts. Communism going for it again. So he's obviously really confident in these, but once again, he's... The reason why he's waiting for these and to come all the way to the ground is after he sets them up, he's realizing that using them isn't going to be worth anything, right? So if he uses his flip early, he's going to hit that ball, but not in a useful way. This time, he waits all the way to the ground. Again, unfortunately, uh, he ends up tapping it away as a pass. So he's setting those up, and he's doing a good job of getting his car near him. But he's the reason why he's not like pulling the trigger on him is because he can tell that they're not going to score. Nice, another bump goal from Communism here. These weak flicks. Back in the day, this used to be, you know, somebody accidentally missing a flick. But uh, not anymore. Now, with these people and how good they are, you kind of have to assume that they're going for that bump when they miss those flicks like that. Or at the very least, they've gotten really used to knowing that when they do miss the flicks, they need to go for the bump. Nice, just... Semikiss goes for possession here, off a of kickoff, he's got 24. Communism knows he needs to get back, and then just a, a good setup for you regret this car. What are the cars crushing it for you? Nice 50 by Semikiss. 6-5. This is a great matchup. Yeah, these, these two guys are crazy good. Communism is really in love with this flip reset. This time he can use it, yep. And he will. So the difference between this one and the other ones is when he set it up before, he was too far away. So this one, he's finally close enough to actually make a, a redirect change on the ball that Semikiss can't recover from. If he does that in the last few times he set it up, uh, Semikiss still has time to save it. So it actually just puts him in a worse spot than if he just hits the ground. That's why I hit the ground those two other times. But uh, that time, he finally set it up in the right spot where Semikiss couldn't do anything about it. If Semikiss pre-jumps, Communism just waits, lets it hit the ground. If uh, if Semikiss doesn't pre-jump, then he's just going to take the shot when he knows Semikiss can't get to it. Very impressive. Nice 50 win by Semi. Might be able to score here. Communism, nice last, last ta second tap to save it away. Gizmo with the stock wheels. That chip's not going to be able to score. I wonder if he's going to be able to get around this in time. Definitely not. Communism might go to the ceiling again, or might try and flip reset here. Looks like it is going to be flip reset, but he just waits, and that'll do it as well. Guys, Gizmo, I call him Gizmo, Semikiss is stuck here. Once Communism gets that flip reset, he can't challenge. He doesn't know when he's going to use it. He doesn't know if he's going to flip it up. At the end of the day, uh, Semikiss was probably not in the right spot to save either one of those, but Communism just waits, lets it hit the ground, taps it in. Great play. Gonna make it 8-6. Semikiss, I think, needed this game bad. He came out shooting very hot. And uh, he really needed to go one up 1-0 up here. I think that would have been great for the confidence. Communism. Fake kickoff is completely read by Semikiss. Something that I'm terrible at doing. Never done it in my life. Always fall for it. Nice, 7 8 here, 16 seconds left. Semikiss can for sure come back now. It's not the end of the world. Interesting to see if he goes for some kind of cheese or if he's just going to go for a regular kickoff win. I mean, he's been able to score some kickoff wins before. This is not, not a bad situation for, uh, for Semikiss here. Nice, low 50. Good thinking here. So, what Semikiss does here, he sets the ball high on top of his car. Communism. Knows he has to respect the flick. He knows that flick is coming. He has to jump. But Semikiss knows that Communism is going to have to jump. So he just lets it roll under. Goes for that low 50. And is able to squeeze it in just barely. The Gizmo, baby. Gizmo unstoppable in the 50-50s. 
Simicus definitely has an opportunity here. That's going to be a weak shot saved away easily. Hopefully he doesn't ruin the game here and let Communism score the last second goal. Gizmo, baby. Another kickoff win for Simicus. He's going to be able to get it in right away. No Communism there. Save it. Here we are in overtime. That was a very bold boost grab by Semi. I don't know why he thought you'd ever get that before Communism did. Very important 50 win by Semikiss. If he had lost that at all in his direction, he was getting scored on. 8-8 eight, eight in this game one. As we wait to see the next goal. Tell us who the first winner is going to be. Holy cow. Great 90 degree flick off the freaking corner of the goal here. This is, You can barely blame Communism for taking this attempt. You try to put it in the top right corner and just didn't work out. And Semikiss ends up being in the perfect spot. To tap it away. Semikis stealing back game one. A very important game one to steal. Especially when you're coming in as a potential underdog. The gizmo. Greater than the Batmobile. At least in game one. Alright, I gotta remember to save this. Save these replays. Semikis versus com game one. Alright, now I'm gonna go here and update this. Semikis got... A game, game one to semi kiss. Gizmo, baby, Gizmo hearts in the chat for our semi kiss, our guy, dude, the streams champion, who is I readied up. I shouldn't have. He's uh, he's hopping off the Gizmo, I assume, since he said he didn't like it last time. But he's here. Never mind. I thought he left, but he must have come back in time. Oh. <laughs> You think he's going to switch? We got two card changes. Communism goes from the Batmobile to his trusty Octane. Semikiss goes from his Gizmo to his mimi -er car. No, a little bit less Mimi. I think since Cuxer played it in the uh, in the uh, Manfield Knight, I think it's it's not as Mimi. We got the Roadhog, just a giant normal car doing what the Merc used to do. But now we use this big old Roadhog. Another quick start by Semikiss. Good plan here. Nice kickoff win. Communism's going to take this mid boost since he knows Semi's stealing his. Semi unable to get the quick play off the backboard. Oh, uh, let's get this. Uh, let's get that bar out of the bottom there. Let's see what happens. Did we just get a greedy uh, boost boost grab here from Semi? Semi's at 27. Yeah, he just he just thinks, all right, if the ball's all the way at the center field, I have all, all the time in the world to grab boost, but he was wrong. Semi nice flick here. Should be able to get stopped, though, by communism. We'll see how the follow-up goes. Semi kiss knows communism has low boost. He's waiting it out. Could go for the bump here. Could go for the flick. Goes for the flick and it's saved away fairly easily, but he's keeping the pressure on. This should be a goal now. Not a lot of communism can do. He's gonna have to get a stronger save than that. If Semikiss plays it correctly, he's gonna be able to keep that pressure on. Probably till he scores. 2-1 for the Semikiss. Nice play there from Communism. Just going for a flip reset as we watch it from Gizno. Gizmo, yeah, you like the car switch ups? I know, the tactical gameplay, dude. These, these guys out here playing chess. Communism switching to the Octane, but Semikiss, knowing he's going to do that, switches to the Roadhog to double counter. No, I think they're just, they're just switching to preferred cars. Nice demo here, but actually, I think he was able to bump uh, Communism into saving it or... Or maybe he just naturally saved it, but whenever you you bump, sometimes you bounce that guy who uh, demoed you back hard enough that you can force them to save their own shot. Semi kiss, another boost, uh, greedy boost grab here from Communism. These two guys are just 15 in the center field. Communism thinks he's got all the time in the world to grab boost and make it back before Semi kiss shoots, but he didn't. That was not the case. Three one, Semi kiss. Nice kickoff victory here from Communism. Let's see how this happened again. 
Slightly lost the kickoff, but was just able to steal ball and boost afterwards. Penalty shot scenario. I don't know. I forget. I forget. I gave a good name for those at one point. A shootout. I think maybe that's what a shootout shot. Whenever the guy's set up in net, everyone has full boost, and it's just like up to the guy to pick how he wants to shoot it, kind of like a shootout would be, or whatever they call it in hockey when you set somebody up with just like all the time in the world to try and score on one attempt. I like to call those shootout goals. Nice goal here from Communism. I think Semikis just shadowing a little bit too close here. Um, not really sure what Communism is going to do on the wall. Ends up turning there on a really close shadow. Communism can bump it over fairly easily. Let me kiss with that clear back communism. Maybe trying to get a little demo on his way through. Great 50 win. Here, semi kiss unable to get to the net fast enough. Weak chip there. I'm sure he regrets that. Probably wish he had done something a little bit more dangerous there with this opportunity. Good bump there. The ball's not headed in, but he didn't really have an angle to shoot. That's what he was going for. Another shadow defense situation from Semikiss, but Communism's chip, he didn't like it. He did not like this initial chip. Didn't want to follow it up. Felt like if he followed it up, he was just going to hit it to a weak spot that Semikiss would have returned. But what the alternative was, was him dropping to the ground and uh, Semikiss stealing it away, which is definitely worse. Picked the wrong poison, Communist did. Nice demo. Full control here for Semikiss. We should have a shootout situation. Communism might be challenging as fast as he can. He's picking up a couple boosts. Interesting. Very, very fast and wild challenge from Communism here. Uh, after the demo, he's trying to rush. I don't want to make him watch this. That's just a huge pre-jump. I'm not sure what was going on in Communism's head there. Getting frustrated or going wild or just trying to mix it up. That's a very early pre-jump. Nice shot here. Doing a good job of timing this. Just making sure that uh, he waits for Semikiss to show his hand. Bait Semikiss in a little bit. Have him start driving towards the ball. Make it look like he's going to wait. And then crush it into the net. 5-4 boost here goes to Semi. Shootout goal. Semi with boost. Communism with boost. Kanye's been going to shadow. That's a really terribly missed flick there. But the punishment's not too bad. Send me back with ball control, handing it over with no boost. He's going to have to be on the retreat. Kanye doesn't send up an aerial attempt. He's not really going to be able to get a flip reset or anything there. He's just going for a 50-50. Uh, Semi kiss is hit, not strong enough. Communism though, could have gotten scored on there. That's it. That uh, that aerial is dangerous, and when he does not succeed on that 50-50, he's in trouble. He was trying to grab that hundy there and did not. Nice little wave dash into get back quickly and get his hundred boost. We got a shootout goal here. Nice. Semi kiss eventually, uh, essentially trying to avoid the shootout goal, and just rushing to him. Communism going for these aerials a lot. Nice catch. So what he's using these aerials for is to just, it seems like just to get the ball close. He's not really worried about, um, about getting countered on them. He's just, he knows that while he's in the air, Semikiss has to wait for him to come down. He's kind of just using that knowledge to execute these, uh, these late plays after he hits the ground. And if his aerial ends up being good enough, he'll just use it to score. So it's kind of interesting. As you see, most people kind of avoid 1v1 Semikiss though. He can easily win this game here. Is going for the catch and flick. Oh my goodness. This last second goal. This late 50 by Communism. And as he sits here with no boost, he just has to hope Semikiss messes up. But Semikiss doesn't mess up. And game two goes to Semikiss. Putting himself on match point here.
Oh, baby is right. The champion of the stream. Save replay. Uh, semi kiss versus calm. Game two. All right, tab out here. Let me go. Uh, update semi kisses game score. Looks like semi kiss left and joined, and left again. He might be uh. Going for your third car change. There's Sammy. Sammy in blue now. I don't know if he was always here. He might have always been in blue. Communism, Dominus. All these guys have yet to use a, a repeated car. Sammy Kiss now in the Octane to counter the Dominus uh, <laughs> change by Communism. These guys, Semikiss, not staying complacent despite winning these past two games, changing his car anyways. Communism trying to find out what's going to work for him during this series. And switching over. To a... <laughs> look at this, look at this. He's pretty good at this. This uh, chained... Um, these chained, uh, how do you call it, wave dashes. To retreat here. Oh, can't put my elbow up there. Nice low 50 by Semi. Is he going to be able to turn into a goal? Yes, he is. So what Semi here does, he knows Communism is going to have to jump to challenge him uh, because he could potentially flick. If he doesn't jump to challenge him, then the flick will go over him. So Communism knows he has to, or Semi Kiss knows Communism has to jump challenge. So what does he do? He just hits on the brakes a little bit and stays low, hoping that he wins the 50-50 through the ground. Or just knows that at the very least, he's going to uh, not lose the ball, you know. Because he gets to keep control of his car by staying on the ground. This is just a chip through demo to go up 2-0. Semikiss feeling confident. Trying to teach me a lesson here about ever doubting him. And saying communism, whose controller admittedly is having problems, he said long before these games started. In his defense. But. For us. He agreed to continue to play. Which we appreciate. Giving us some quality content. Oh no. Communism. Maybe he would have been able to uh, get back on this one. Did he miss a half flip? Uh, he. I'm not sure there. I believe. You believe in communism. I do too. There's certainly no doubt that he could win the three in a row. As he keeps letting these kickoff goals go in, this is going to be rough for him. It's hard to keep a good mentality here when you're staring down the barrel a game of match point and these kickoffs just keep running the score up. There's no doubt that Communism is a good enough player to come back and win this game and the next two. But he seems to be freestyling a little bit. Either he's just looking to mix it up because what he's been doing hasn't been working. Or he's just trying to have some fun now. I'm going to guess he's trying to have some fun with how often he's going on his roof. Nice flip reset here by communism. We're watching this one again for sure. Nice tap, gets that flip reset right there. Too late, Semikiss. It is too late for how high Communism is going to put that ball after that flip reset. Get his first goal in this one. Semikiss tapping that ball away when uh, you'd think he'd just try and let it flow and score. But, you know what, he might be smarter than me. He might have been able to realize that Communism was getting back on that one. Communism electing to not go for the 50 when Semi Kiss was threatening that chip there. And that was actually a probably good idea. It resulted in uh, Semi just letting it roll all the way. Communism, nice flick here. Nice 90 degree flick, is I think what they call these. Right? Pretty sure that's what the kids are calling these days because he turns 90 degrees and then whap! Hits that flick out there. 5 2. Is that two in a row, I believe, for Communism? Will this be the turning point? Another low 50 from Semikiss. 
Guys, what he's doing here, if you aren't already doing low 50s, he knows communism is going for a jump challenge, probably. He knows how he drives backwards. What he's doing when he's driving backwards is he's forcing communism to 50 the ball, or go to try and 50 the ball. He ends up pushing the ball slightly, which is where Semikis has been waiting behind. And Semikis is kind of like winning that challenge by waiting back there. So if you've ever had somebody at, on kickoff um, slow down and not go to the kickoff fast and just wait back so that you hit the ball into them and then they hit it past you. It's essentially what Semikis is doing when he's doing these reverse hits. Um, he's just kind of like, it's not really cheesing him, but he's like trying to cheese him into hitting it back into him. He still has his wheels on the ground, so he can still rush afterwards. So he just rushes to take the shot um, right after he gets communism to commit. At this point, these guys are certainly playing funky based on this current score of the game. Semi kiss going for a fake kickoff. The musty flick. The communism does not work. Semi kiss taking it to the roof now. To put on a show. Both these guys going for cool stuff now. Communism doing nice. Crazy flips there. On his dribble goal. Making it 8 3, but. He doesn't seem like he's keen on trying to come back from this one. Seems like he's willing to go for uh, crazy stuff. Flip his hood upside down. He's chalking this one up to a loss and having fun. Which is fine. Nice 90, uh, nice 180 flick here by Semikis. I don't know if it would have actually gone in in a situation where communism's, you know, really, really trying to win the game. But that's nice. I don't know what kind of challenge communism would do in a more in a normal setting, but that definitely looks like it could score. Even if there wasn't anything special going on. You got a full on stock tain. Nice. Couple two wave dashes from semi to pop it. If communism had been going there, that would have ripped it over him. Nice play by Comedy is unfortunately not in the net there. I imagine this would be a goal for Communism if he was not trying to set up a dope ground play. I thought he was going to roll all the way up from the ground like that. Double tap. Nice from Communism here. Let's watch this again. Little flip reset. First shot on the top corner. Nice play by Communism. Killing it. Oh, I should be removing that. Makes it a little bit easier to watch, if you ask me. Communism is killer at this kind of stuff. Once again, he's just going to wait. So at this point with four left, I mean, in theory, uh, Communism could potentially come back, but I'm not sure he's really trying to. You can't convince me. We'll see if he goes for some cheese mechanic or some special thing on this kickoff to salvage the series. I do not think so. So with 25 seconds left, looks like Semikiss is winning yet another 1v1. With, so far, that was cool. Communism trying to land on it to pop it up. Or land under it. This is going to be another $10 for Semikiss. going to put his winnings on stream at $25, dude. $25. Semikiss has not lost. Communism is certainly the most formidable opponent that we have. That we, I mean, according to the rankings, the most formidable opponent that we've given him. But Semikiss stepping up to the challenge and making the first series on FRL stream that did not go to the last game. Communism hopping out quick.